Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here. Welcome to My Favorite Stories. On the count of three, why don't you tell me your name? One, two, three. Well, I'm so glad you could join me today. Now, today's story is about a pet. Do you maybe have a pet at your house? Is it maybe a dog? Or maybe a fish? Or a bird? Or maybe it's a cat. Today's story is called They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. Ooh, that looks like cat fur on the inside cover. That's pretty cool. They all saw a cat. They, the cat walked through the world with his whiskers, ears, and paws. I see a cat. I see a cat with a bell on its neck. If you have a cat, maybe it has a bell on its neck, or maybe it doesn't. And the child saw the cat. There's a little person patting the cat. If you have a cat, I wonder, does your cat like to be patted? Some cats like that, and not all of them, though. Some just like to be by themselves. And the dog saw the cat. Oh, look at the dog. What kind of face does he have? Does he have a happy face or kind of a angry face? Not all dogs like cats. He sees the cat as a very skinny cat, doesn't he? With a great big bell on its neck. And the fox saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. Look at that fox. He's running fast. Looks like he's chasing the cat too. Dogs and foxes will chase a cat sometimes. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers and its paws. And the fish saw a cat. Oh, this is how a fish sees a cat. Looking from inside its fish bowl with the great big eyes of the cat looking back at it and its great big whiskers. That looks pretty scary to a little goldfish. And the mouse saw a cat. How did the mouse see the cat? Oh, that mouse looks kind of nervous. That cat looks like a great big scary creature with great big claws to a mouse and great big teeth. And the bee saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. They all see it a bit differently though. Bees have really interesting eyes to look at things and this is apparently what things look like to them. Lots and lots of dots of color. That's a pretty cool way to look at a cat, isn't it? The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the bird saw a cat. The bird saw the cat from way up high in the sky. And the flea saw the cat. Can you see a flea? The flea is sitting right on the cat's back, all inside its fur. Can you see the tiny little flea there? And the snake saw the cat. And the skunk saw a cat. How did the skunk see the cat? Black and white, just like the snake, the just like the skunk. Skunks have black and white stripe, and it looks like the skunk is looking at the cat like it's black and white too. And the snake is looking up through the grass at the cat. 
And the worm saw a cat. Oh, look how the worm saw the cat. Just the shadow of it and its fur, because the worm lives on the ground. And the bat saw the cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. The bat sees the cat at nighttime, doesn't it? But it's just got a bunch of white dots glowing. Yes, they all saw the cat. They all saw the cat a little bit differently. And that made up for a very patchwork looking cat. A very interesting and colorful cat. I like it. A child and a dog and a fox and a fish and a mouse and a bee and a bird and a flea and a snake and a skunk and a worm and a bat. The cat knew them all and they all knew the cat because they all saw the cat, but everybody saw it a little bit differently. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws, and it came to the water. Ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen. What happens when a cat sees water? And imagine what it saw. So the cat looked into the water and saw a reflection of itself and the water was all ripply, so look at the funny face that it saw. Even the cat looks different to itself than it is. And that's the end of our story. They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. I really like that story and I hope you did too. It kind of shows how we all see things a little bit differently. Well, thank you so much for coming to my story time today. And I hope you'll join me again for more of my favorites. See you next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Stephanie here again. And I'm so glad you joined me today. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a craft. And our craft today is making a cat using a toilet paper roll. So, this is what we're making today. You can have a cat of all different types. We have a yellow cat. We have a fun little white cat in a tie. And we have another little fancy cat here. So you can create all kinds of cats. So what you'll need today for this craft is some toilet paper rolls. Lots of houses have lots of these around. And you'll need um, some paper to cover the toilet paper roll or some paint. Now I have here some chalk paint. I love using chalk paint for all kinds of crafts. It dries quickly, it's non-toxic, and it's very just a very good covering paint. Um, a paintbrush for your paint and you'll need some a glue stick with some glue some kind of glue uh, or some tape if you don't have glue you can use some tape um, you'll need some scissors to cut your paper out and you'll need some markers uh, maybe some cloths to wipe your fingers on so what we're going to do first is show you how to make the white cats so we have here a toilet paper roll and it's very quick and easy to paint it. I'm just going to use a bit of paint here and this is the part kids will like. We've got some nice weather coming up here so perhaps you can find a nice spot to do this outside if you're concerned about mess. Otherwise just a big sheet of plastic on your kitchen floor and um, Find a table to cover with newspaper and go at it for your crafts. So I've got one end painted and now I'm just going to cover the other end quickly. Chalk paint comes in all kinds of colors. You can get it at the hardware store. I use a lot of white um, and you don't have to, if you're using it for furniture or anything, you don't have to prep it. Um, it covers plastic, it covers 
toilet paper rolls, wood, all kinds of things. So very handy. And it dries so quickly. So there we are. Here is our toilet paper roll. Now that would take about an hour, a little bit less if it's in a sunny spot. So parents, you can do this part ahead of time if you want, or you can do it with your kids and then you'll have your toilet paper roll an hour later ready to use. So we'll put that one there and I've actually done one earlier here that I have. So here's our white painted toilet paper nice and dry. And to make it into a cat is so simple. This craft really doesn't involve very much. Um, you just have to take your toilet paper roll. And in fact, if you don't have paints or paper, you can just take a toilet paper roll and make the shape of a cat and draw your cat on that too. So we're going to fold the front down, press it like that. And then we're going to take the other side and press it like that too. And we're going to try and make the corners into little points and those are the cat's ears. You might have to shape it a little bit. There, there's our cat all set to decorate. That was simple, wasn't it? Okay, we've got our cat. I've got some markers. Now, let's see here. I'm going to Give my cat some eyes. Let's see what kind of eyes should we make. You can make cat eyes, you can make all kinds. I'm gonna make this a funny cat. He's going to have little, little black eyes and he's going to have that cat mouth, which often cats, you draw the mouth with a line down the middle and a smile or whatever you like there. And I like to put whiskers on my cat because cats have whiskers. Whiskers are fun to draw too. So there's a face on my cat. Now, let me think here, what else can we make? I could make some paws coming down the front. Like that. Make some little claws on there. And Let's see, what else could we put on our cat? How about we make this cat a fancy cat who's got glasses on. Oh, I'm, this marker's run out. Let's try a different one here. Okay, here's one here. We're going to draw some circles around his eyes. He's maybe a reading cat and he needs his reading glasses on. So I'm going to put some kind of funny cat glasses here. Never really seen a cat with glasses, but we can do whatever we like when we're doing crafts. We can use our imagination. There, he's got some glasses on. Now, uh, we could add, let's see, we could add some red to this cat, we'll put some red, maybe make his mouth a bit redder here, stand out here. Give him a little mouth. Um, and we could make the cats have little, little ears here. We can make a little triangle on the side of his ears for a listening cat here. And let me think, what else could we make? Let's make this a fancy cat with a necklace. So I'm going to get a couple of other colors here and make a little, make some dots around this cat, little circles to make a little, it could be a necklace or it could be a collar because some cats wear collars. You can decorate the back of your cat too or just stick to the front. Let's do, there's some little orange beads and we'll put some yellow beads in here too if we can see these. Maybe yellow doesn't show up so well. Um, let's see, how about um, some green? Maybe green will be better. 
There we go. Fancy cat, fancy collar or necklace. I'm going all the way around the back and just making little dots. There we go. Now, do you think our cat needs anything else? Let's see here. Um, I think he's pretty good. I think we'll just put him right here with his other cat friends. Now I'll show you how to do one if you don't have paint or you just want to use paper. So you need to put your toilet paper roll down on top and trace around the length that you'll need and then when it rolls it will fit like this. So we'll need to glue that on or tape but I think glue seems to work quite well. There we go. Now we're going to put that right in the middle like that. And you're going to roll matching the edges with this. Smooth it down and then we have a red toilet paper roll. Now to turn this into a cat, we again need to push the top down. Use your fingers to press it a bit more and push the other side down too. So you've got two little points on the corners. There we go, there's our cat face. Um, let's see, what shall we do with this one here? Uh, let's make this one have some Fancy eyes. You can do eyes any way you like. We'll give this one a little triangle for a nose. Cats kind of have noses like upside down triangles, I think. And this cat's going to have a great big grin. A very happy cat. And let me think. I'm going to give this cat a whole bunch of spots. It's going to be a spotted cat. There we go, make some spots all over it. And kind of like a ladybug cat, I think. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe we'll give them some little tiny paws here. There he is. So look at all our cats here. We have the red cat. Now I don't have red paper with me, but you can make a tail for your cat too by just cutting out a piece and gluing it on the edge. So I've got our yellow cat. We've got our fancy cat with the collar or necklace. We've got our ladybug cat. And we've got ooh, the fancy cat with the stripy shirt. And we've got, oh, this looks like a party cat. Got a tie on. There we go. So all kinds of cats. And you can use these cats for puppets and all kinds of play. So I hope you've enjoyed our craft today and make lots of cats and send us pictures of them. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.